So I wanted to show you guys something here. What? Let's just back out of here. Let's just say you went on the internet and you typed in Ubuntu or something. I'm going to back out. Okay, let's just say you typed in Ubuntu. You wanted to download it. And click on this one here and come to this kind of confusing page because it's for mechanical or whatever. And it's loading like crap. But anyway, so it tells you about all these other things. But I don't know what RSCV Deep Computing. Cool. Um, I do remember they did put a Bantu on it. There was an Ubuntu phone. It's too bad that didn't take off. Because now we're stuck with all the other crap. Um, so you go to Ubuntu. And then. Uh, we have the flavors of Ubuntu. So. In here. I mean I don't know. Maybe no, nobody's ever seen any of these. I guess these are the little. Icons for. All the different ones. So we got um, the education version, ED Ubuntu, and Kubuntu, which we just tried. Um, so it's supposed to be KDE. Uh, um, so anyway, it's supposed to be fast. Blah blah blah. Then we got Lubuntu. Um, which uses the LXQT desktop environment, which I have no idea what that is. Uh, and then I guess Budgie is just the the normal one. I don't know. And then uh, Cinnamon, which I'm not sure what that is because I thought that was like uh, Linux Mint version so the GNOME 2 I think that that's the one I'm the most familiar with is the GNOME desktop environment I guess is what they call it and um, you'll have this stuff down here but what I, I don't remember using KDE and having trouble like I did on the uh, Kubuntu. Uh, Kylin or Kalin or whatever, the project tuned for the needs of Chinese users. So, that's probably a pretty large market. Uh, Ubuntu Mate. Um, so, these flavors of these are all the flavors of what's in uh, Mint. Okay, so. I'm actually downloading uh, Linux Mint Mate, um, but I kind of like the way this looks too. Um, it's a stable, easy to use operating system with configurable desktop environment. It is ideal for those that want the most out of their computers and prefer traditional desktop metaphor with modest hardware requirements. It is suitable for modern workstations, single board computers, and older hardware alike. Ubuntu Mate makes the perfect makes modern computers fast and old computers usable. And um, so I want to check out that one too. Um, right now I'm downloading this, the Ubuntu Studio. It's pre-configured for content of all kinds, whether you're an audio engineer, musician, graphic designer, photographer, video producer, or streamer. This is a full-fledged desktop computing system that will fit your needs. If you can dream it, you can create it in Ubuntu Studios. Um, now also, um, I read here where <clears throat> you can actually just go ahead and add this to whatever you already have. Um, we'll come back to that in a second. So then we have another one called Unity. Um, and um, I, I don't really know much about that one. I'm not going to read it to you. Uh, X Ubuntu, I do remember using that. So it uses XFSC uh, environment, I guess. Uh, it's lightweight, configurable desktop environment with a lot of consideration for usability. 
whether you have a high-end computer or even moderately older machine, Exubuntu is able to provide you with smooth and usable desktop experience. So that might be worth trying too. Um, so I guess the one with this picture here is considered budgie. Um, now I've been using that on that other computer and actually like it. Okay, so here's Studio. So if you click this, it'll take you to another page. And it'll um, show you um, that uh, what the size of it is. Um, so this particular version uses a KDE Plasma. So it says that uh, if you don't want, use Ubuntu Studio installer on any other official Ubuntu flavor. And so we're going to take a look at that. Ubuntu Studio Installer can add Ubuntu Studio's benefits to any installation of Ubuntu or its flavors so that you can use whatever desktop environment you prefer and it gives you a curated selection of packages to fit your workflow whether you're a graphic artist or engineer or a musician or publisher, photographer or video producer. Installing. To get the installer you must first have installed Ubuntu or official flavor um, using the installer to use it, simply click on the icon on the installer or find it in your launcher dash. Once it is open, you will see windows like this. Note the interface may be somewhat different under Ubuntu 2310. Okay. So, I guess you can uncheck or check whatever you want. Uh, once you have selected, you may click modify install package selection okay so you will have to do this within Ubuntu I don't think you have to download anything and like do anything otherwise so we would just look up this page while we're in there but it's cool that you can do that so um, I think Ubuntu is kinda where it's at they've been around a while now and there's lots of other flavors of Linux that have been around a lot longer. But they're complicated. So I, I like this uh, one here. I'm just interested to check it out and see. Um, so Ubuntu and Linux Mint, I think those are kind of, you know, the easy ones for people like me. And the other thing is, with a lot of the other ones, you don't know if they're going to really work or not either. So here we have, uh, their website is really well thought out. There's lots of stuff here. So we have the, uh, you know, the desktop guide. It, you know, gives you information, you know. I what this one says, upgrade. So anyway, we're gonna um, we're gonna try to get a couple of different ones going today, and um, I definitely want to check out that studio one. So we'll let you guys know how it turns out.